Charlotte. Could you please take a seat? Thank you. Mr. Harlem, uh, our city is very impressive. We met it in the very first attempt. And I find that uh, you had an inter internship at Seoul yes, sir. in South Korea. What was the duration of, of your internship? And what did you see there? What did you do there? Could you tell us? So it was uh, two and a half, uh, two months, two and a half months of internship. Uh, it was a basically uh, research internship uh, where I have to assist my professor for a specific project. What I have seen in Seoul, uh, there there was a complete uh, visi visibilization of globalization in Seoul. There is a good infrastructure, metro, uh, transportation facilities up to the mark, and uh, there is much progress we can see. To see in this year. What places of interest did you visit at Seoul? Sir, in Seoul I visited uh, Seoul Tower uh, and then I visited the Bukchon village in the Seoul and then uh, there was a king palace of the their traditional palace in the Seoul there, there I visited. Did you visit Panmunjom? No sir. DMZ? What does DMZ stand okay. for? Sir, DMZ is a demilitarized zone at 38 degree north parallel. Uh, it was uh, decided at the end of the Korean War, but, but it is uh, they are not they are like uh, uh, not te they are technically at war. When did you go there? Sir, which year? Uh, oh, in which year? It was two for two thousand fourteen. Two thousand fourteen. Yes. Did you get any feel about North Korea, South Korea problem? The divide, the Korean divide. And the current crisis? Yes, sir. Sir, the North Korea and South Korea uh, issue is basically a historical uh, causes of it. The the conflict between the ideology of communism and the capitalism, mm -hmm. the the capitalist ideology led by USA uh, was uh, in the North in the South Korea and in North Korea it was Soviet Union and China uh, who are like supporting uh, North Korea. So, the genesis of the problem is that. See, Mr. Alam, I also find that you are holding a pretty well paid job. Yes, sir. With, uh, Qualcomm as a one. Yes. What kind of work was given to you and how did you like it? Sir, it was a, uh, it was a very good technical job, uh, especially in the field of technology uh, in uh, IoT, in connected camera. I I was working in a smart speaker as well. Oh. Yeah. Why did you choose uh, Jaipur as a center uh, for your exam? Uh, Any reason, specific reason, or you were there at that time? No, sir. It was a specific reason uh, because I, at the time, because since the mains is of five uh, days duration, and uh, the I, I want to come to my room uh, during the two hours recess of the mains, and since Jaipur is slightly cheaper city. So uh, I could afford a hotel uh, or a... The How long you stayed there to, to prepare for the exam also or only for the exam? Only for the exam because I, I want to be near the center of the examination uh, so so that I could afford a hotel uh, in the jam. It was slightly costlier if uh, the center would have been in Delhi. Uh, Compare them to Delhi? Yes, sir. Why not VR itself? Uh, yes, sir. Because Jaipur was near, I was preparing from the Delhi, okay. and uh, since Jaipur was near to Delhi, that's. Okay. You are taking political science and administration as uh, your subject also. Yes, sir. What is the federal structure? Meaning of federal structure. Federal federal structure means that the by constitution delineates the uh, subject of the center as well as the sub uh, state for their jurisdiction. Uh, in the, our seventh schedule of the constitution, there is a list of the union list on which the center has the jurisdiction. There is a state list. So it is basically the decentralization of power. The state has those power from the constitution itself. It is uh, not like uh, devolving the power like a state is devolving those power. So the... Okay. Is there a difference between the federal structure or entities in USA versus India or they are all equal? Sir, so there is a difference. Uh, India uh, is uh, uh, India is uh, slightly the, the federalism structure in India is uh, where the center is uh, slightly strong. Uh, the 
state has this power. Uh, the like example the residuary power with the center and all, but in USA it is a uh, uh, the states are much more powerful and the state has uh, the more say in constitutional amendments. So if I say India is a coming together federal, uh, India is a holding together federalism, while the USA is a coming together federalism. It's a union of states. Yes, sir. USA is union of states. Union of states. But India is a union. India is a union. Uh, India is a union like uh, India the, the idea is that the estates in India is only for the administrative purposes and the, the whole of uh, India is the part or the whole of the state is a part of uh, India. So your word of the US government policies towards oh, Indian technical uh, Indian technical personnel working in, the, in that country. You know, the visa regime, etc. Just explain what are the changes that are likely in India and how it Sir, I have the idea on that, but I am not. Uh, I am not aware of the exact the concrete one, so I can explain the idea on. So the idea is that because of the USA President Trump, America First policy, he is preferring the American population uh, for the worker. It means that the if a US company is hiring any uh, any worker, they have to prove that. The Indian or any other foreign worker is much suitable for the job, and any American is not such that he could uh, go to that job. So the it, it means that it will restrict the Indians uh, working in the U.S. firms, and it will affect our BPO sector uh, like that. So, but what is the future of Indian software sector in the light of those changes? Yes, sir, it will the, the flight of. Uh, Talent yes, will reduce and it will better the software industry in India or uh, what is the consequence you have seen of that? So it will hit our software industry because the US firms will prefer first the US, US citizens and uh, the, if they will not be able to find a US citizens then only they will uh, prefer the Indians. But you may benefit by being good guys remaining in India and working towards the industry or for the industry, I think will go. Is it also like Sir, the US policy will be such that they will always welcome those who are really talented and those who are doing the masters and PhD in USA. Uh, they, 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 they will uh, come to a policy such that uh, those people will be welcomed always. What is United Nations role uh, on the terrorism front? Does it have any say at all? Does it uh, have any policy? If it has a policy? in United Nations, uh, especially India is pushing for the comprehensive uh, terrorism policy but the problem is that United Nations is not coming up with a definition of the terrorism because uh, the, the terrorism is made different for different countries uh, so the first thing is that uh, the United Nations should come up with a definition of terrorism and for that India is pushing uh, the efforts so uh, the, the the, the thing has not progressed much uh, as desired. So, you would say the uh, United Nations practically zero impact on terrorism or does it have any say at all? It, it is not exactly zero, I will say, because United Nations has has very short, has a lot of issues there. I mean, in the United Nations, we are facing like the monopoly of USA and like the conflict of where when there were there is a conflict between the global powers like USA and Russia then the United Nations is like uh, is, ha, ha, has little say in practically so in on those fronts you know United Nations is facing the challenges but United Nations have wish we, but India is looking toward the United Nations with a very high prospect and we are pushing what is in our interest uh, toward the United Nations especially for the terrorism but the things are not yet Raitu Pandru scheme. Have you heard of this term? Raitu Pandru scheme. Raitu, I have the term Raitu, I have heard it is called Bajar in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana. Raitu Bajar. But Raitu Pandru scheme, uh, I have not heard. So have you heard of any benefits to farmers given by the state government? One of those who are the scheme. I am not uh, of this Raitu Pandru okay, scheme. Sorry. So how do you solve the India's agrarian crisis? No farmers are all coming and saying that we have to lost in trade or we are going to Pujari and all. What is your solution to this problem? Yes, sir. Sir, the uh, the the basic pro the main problem.
problem with the Indian agriculture right now is that the farmers are not able to generate enough income despite of the production and productivity. So for that we have to uh, work on two things is uh, could be our priority. First is the ag uh, agricultural market and second is the uh, credit mechanism. Uh, the farmer should get the enough credit uh, for their production. So what do you name any one tangible policy of the government towards farmers? The crop insurance policy is a very uh, novel policy uh, which has the potential to uh, address the distress of the farmer especially in the case of the drought famines and when they are not able to uh, utilize their uh, crops. Uh, uh, crops. So how much benefit did they accrue in according to your knowledge in the last one year, two years, whatever? Did they get any real benefit? Yes, uh, sir. Unfortunately, in crop insurance scheme, uh, the there has been issue on the on the dispersal of the uh, of the uh, dispersal of the like when when there is a drought there is a, like lack of implementation uh, so those issues uh, we are facing right now but uh, if I say the crop insurance policy is a very novel in its ideation but uh, we should work uh, toward the uh, how much money could they disperse by way of uh, insurance any idea on how much benefit has really gone to farmers in crop insurance policy uh, the especially the private insurance companies are the are providing the insurance the government is providing the uh, premium to them and as well as the some premium is provided to the farmer but the the but the, the ground truth is that the benefit has not yet reached it at as at the desired level Especially in the Jammu and Kashmir, this will not stop. 
then it, there will be no point of uh, going on top uh, with the Pakistan. But uh, despite this stand, Kartarpur corridor was a long term demand. It, it was from a very long time. And uh, they, uh, there, is a, there is a intent from the Pakistani side as well. The, if you see the Pakistani military chief, uh, General Bahaswa, he has also some intent. So uh, if I am seeing Kartarpur as an isolated event, I, I am not uh, seeing the Kartarpur as a major something uh, which will have a long lasting impact, uh, especially uh, given the all those contradictions and conflict with our relations. committee and uh, the, the committee has come to a 
middle path solution where the indigo planters, uh, those who have getting benefited, uh, have been compensated by the European planters. And after sometimes those European planters left away the place. What do you think about the introduction of prohibition policy in uh, Yeah. Yes, sir. It, is, it is a welcome uh, initiative by the uh, our Chief Minister Nitish Kumar because uh, if we see the because of the leaker, there is a much social implication, uh, crime rates uh, and uh, the road accidents and especially the uh, crime uh, 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 domestic violence. And uh, after the leaker policy, I am not aware of credible reports, but uh, the, the, the but through the newspapers I have read that uh, on these things uh, the um, it has it has come down. What has come down? The crime rates and uh, the road accidents and uh, the domestic violence uh, has come down. Now tell me, there was a prohibition in Haryana, but subsequently it was withdrawn. have been so successful, then prohibition would have remained in Haryana also. Yes, sir. Sir, sir uh, in this, uh, the government has to evaluate that the government is getting from the liquor sale and uh, the uh, in one side and the other side, uh, the uh, what the means, what the social benefits uh, of the liquor policy is, the government has to evaluate this and uh, uh, the government has to decide accordingly that uh, which one uh, they want to, which one the government wants to prefer. You lived in Hyderabad also? Yes, sir. How long? How long? Uh, I, I lived in one and a half year in Hyderabad. Where did you go sightseeing in Hyderabad? Sir, in Hyderabad, uh, I have gone to uh, Ramoji Film City, then I have gone to This is Golconda Fort uh, of uh, 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 Golconda Fort the, there of uh, the ruler of uh, Hyderabad. Uh, uh, I'm not aware of uh, who it was the ruler and uh, talking about that. Hey, what was Golconda otherwise famous for? Have you heard of the Golconda mines? Yes, yes, sir. Some Golconda mines, but I'm not sure. Koino diamond. Koino diamond was. Did you visit the Salazar Museum? Slargen Museum, yes sir, I have visited in 2010. At, at that time, I have just uh, went for two months. Uh, yes sir. You visited? Yes sir. So, I mean, uh, what is on display there? Have you any idea? Yes sir, there, there were, there were uh, few statues. There were, uh, uh, I am not clearly remember because it, it was eight years back. Charminar? Charminar, yes sir, I have been to in 2010. What is so great about Charminar? Charminar is sir, uh, basically four pillars uh, and, and it's kind of fort in the middle of the road and uh, we can we can go up and we can take the whole view of the uh, whole day Hyderabad. Uh, so so it, it, it gives a very good view of uh, shops, uh, uh, transport and everything. So it, it is like famous if we go and visit here. So do you pray in Charminar? No, sir. Is it a mosque? In Charminar, there is no mosque. Yeah. Sure. In front of Char yes, sir, yeah, in Charminar, in, front of, in, in front of Charminar, there is a uh, masjid. Uh, there is a proper mosque, uh, but in Charminar, there is no mosque. Uh, no, no, it's for praying. You're a student of political science. Yes, sir. So, you must have read Plato. Yes, sir. What is Plato's uh, philosopher thing? that Plato is of the view that whosoever has be, become the king should have the knowledge of philosophy because Plato is of the view that to become a teacher we, we should have a quality of a teacher and to become in any profession we should be of we should be of a quality but coincidentally for a king we don't have to be any uh, like a trend or be qualified so he mean to say that for to become a king uh, or to become a philosopher king one should read the uh, one should um, understand the philosophy uh, one should have knowledge. One should have the knowledge, yes, sir. The true knowledge. What is the breach of privilege motion nowadays? Everybody is saying in parliament. Yeah, context, in parliament. Yes, parliament. Parliament has the power uh, to uh, to punish anyone if uh, one uh, one um, 
mailing the mailing the status and uh, of the, of the parliament for example if some journalist uh, publishes a uh, few articles if it mailing the status status of parliament then that will amount to breach of privileges of the parliament it is under article 105 of the idea about the procedure the speaker uh, i am not full sure but uh, but what I, i could remember the speaker could uh, uh, could uh, force the breach of privileges against and he could even uh, order for the arrest of the person uh, person today uh, today political science and international relations yes sir what is the topic Dante was uh, during the uh, Cold War. After the, especially after the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, there was uh, so much high tension between the U.S. and the uh, U.S. and the Soviet Union. So after that, uh, there was uh, some peace process, much international talks, uh, the ongoing laws to calm down the situation, and it uh, continues till uh, it continues. It started from 1962 to 1979. You are in Seoul. Are you aware about the markets in Seoul? Did you visit the markets? Yes, sir. What markets? Dong Demo. Dong Demo. I am Dong Demo. Yes, sir. Yes, I don't because the name is such that I don't remember the what was the exact <laughs> name. Uh, but uh, there, there were there were like in Seoul there are two types of market. One is the which has uh, what we say has the effect of globalization proper mall type of market which we see even now in India. Another is the same traditional markets where you can. by some souvenirs of uh, seoul i mean now uh, north korea and uh, usa are having uh, what you call summit level talks yes sir why are they having these talks yes, sir. because north korea uh, is uh, posing itself like a rogue state it it is yes sir it <laughs> because it is developing the nuclear weapons hydrogen bombs and yeah is also a nuclear state yeah they are a rogue state Now, India is not a rogue why, state. Why is not India a rogue state? Be, Your word, if it has yes, nuclear sir. weapon. Because because India has clearly uh, uh, article clearly pushed its uh, nuclear policy of the no first use policy, and India has uh, India is part of the nuclear uh, is is trying to become the part of the nuclear supply group. India is uh, also have agreement with the USA that uh, it will not uh, use the civilian. But in the same aspect, if we see the North Korea, North Korea is continuously uh, developing the nuclear weapons, military equipments, and uh, USA is seeing itself as a threat uh, to its uh, security because after the um, missiles, uh, which intercontinental missiles, the North Korea has uh, developed. After that, uh, the situation is uh, and especially in the context of uh, U.S.-China conflict, the North Korea is a good proxy for the China. So North Korea is uh, is is becoming a player uh, because of its uh, military and equipment and and kind of the nuclear weapons uh, it has developed. Where was the first summit held in uh, between the uh, North Korea and US? It was in Singapore. So did any result come out of it? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the the US is uh, uh, asking so North Korea for demilitarizing its, its nuclear weapon. Uh, from the north korea north korea but at the same time north korea is also uh, asking for the us to demilitarize this whole pacific ocean uh, and uh, the, the especially from the south korea and the south korea the the military installation of uh, usa in the south korea so uh, this this was and uh, north korea has agreed if the us is uh, us will remove the economic sanction but uh, the thing is that uh, usa will not uh, going to remove its military installment and uh, nuclear from the especially from the south korea and the east pacific ocean especially in the wake of uh, uh, the, the us china conflict what is the issue of this south china yes, sir. why we all the powers are converging on the south china sir uh, especially uh, right now south uh, uh, us china is showing its assertiveness Uh, it is claiming uh, those artificial islands like paracel and a spartly island uh, to be part of its own territory and uh, that and uh, usa and especially uh, even india is uh, asking for freedom, uh, asking for peaceful navigation uh, and uh, na- navigation so the, this this is especially uh, to uh, this is this is also our effort for the peaceful navigation and uh, 
them free trading so that is uh, the uh, that is the point of conflict and what is uh, i mean india specific role why is india asking i mean that south china should be free free yes. navigation and all that free for exploration and all that so what is india exploring in south china sea with another in association with another country of yeah. southeast asia I am not aware ki, uh, about that uh, uh, what the India is exploring. Yeah, but India and Vietnam are in uh, yeah, there collaboration was, there for was a uh, exploring oil in the okay. South China Sea. Most important issue is the oil. Oh, oh, yeah, South oh, oil in the South, South China. China. Yeah, even the China. Everybody is uh, going after uh, the oil. After that. Yeah. yeah. So why was IIT Guwahati established? It was the result of uh, 1985 Assam Accord. The all uh, Assam Students Union demanded a, a IIT in the uh, Assam, and as a result of that, in 1994, uh, uh, IIT Guwahati was established. So, what was the uh, results after the Assam Accords? Yes, sir. Assam Accord. Uh, there was a uh, in Assam Accord. There was a. Uh, a, a, a there was a provision that all those who enters the uh, Assam uh, are from the Bangladesh after 24th March of 1971 uh, will be uh, will be detained by, will will be detained back back and uh, and especially in that week uh, the right now the ongoing process of NRC is continuing uh, to identify uh, the due uh, to the illegal immigrants from the uh, Bangladesh. Are you aware of the Immunity Act? Yes, sir. Uh, it, it it was. Illegal migrant is determined by, by tribunal, and in that uh, it was on the part of the government to prove anyone as a foreigner, and uh, that was like, uh, the, and that was uh, finally uh, declared null and void by the Honorable Supreme Court. So you are uh, you have spent uh, quite a bit of time in Hyderabad. Yes. So what is the water problem in Hyderabad, and what is the government doing? Is a water mafia in Hyderabad? Are you aware of it? Yes, sir. But one water problem which I can recall that the Hussain Sagar is the main uh, source from where the Hyderabad is getting the water, and that lake is uh, is uh, seeing the problem of pollution and uh, pollution, and that is the one problem I you know apart from that. So Telangana has brought uh, some new schemes <coughs> for improving this water situation in Hyderabad. By chance, you are aware of that? Then, so gradually over the past years, past decades, we have seen a trend that uh, beginning from the European Economic Community, we had a European Union. Similarly, the Southeast nations, they organized themselves into Asia. Then uh, CARICOM is also there, uh, Caribbean islands and all. So, what do you think? Isn't it possible that India has such a group? You know, let's say minus Pakistan. So we usually say that in SARC the issue is Pakistan. So what are the benefits and the cons of being in such a grouping in South Asia? Yes, sir. Uh, especially if we see uh, after the shark is not progressing well, uh, we are moving toward the other groupings like uh, Bimstake, BBIN, and uh, India has cleared its point that uh, whoever will be with us will we will. And whoever will be comfortable in future can can come, can can come back. In that way, India has uh, is moving toward the other kind of groupings, especially. Uh, Should India become a member of Asia? India is already an observer of Asia. India is a part of uh, East Asia Summit, if I am correct. But Asia is uh, for for the for those East Asian country. And we have a very good relation with the Asian, so it is not uh, necessary to be part of uh, Asia. What will be the positives or the negatives for the economy? Yes, sir. In Asia, the, those countries have a free trade among those countries, and if India will also be part of the Asia, uh, the, exactly the RCEP which is going on, uh, which is basically Asian plus six, and where we are facing on front of free trade. 
and uh, and, th- th- and that will impact our domestic economy so uh, we were talking about in bihar yes, sir. but for example uh, from personal experience liquor is easily available in gujarat it's not available legally but simply they have those shops you can at any point of time you can order it you can on- online also uh, so is the philosophy of is the policy of ban right or should some others measures would be more you know relevant in this regard yes sir so in this regard we can take example of kerala kerala has initially banned it complete uh, but then after that it allows uh, liquor in some sections of the society suppose uh, suppose for example if we take the forest five star and four star portal suppose those uh, people if you are if they are consuming liquors then it is not a problem because that has a no social implication basically they will not of sensible people if i in in general sense i will say and so on those sections we can allow the liquor uh, but uh, the liquor ban should be for the like those who are getting to be aware so of the view that only the elite sections of the society should be able to have access to liquor and a poor person who is un- dissatisfied with the state uh, he is also not able to get uh, even a drink yes so, sir. Should, should so yeah, yeah exactly so uh, yeah you are you are pointing it correct elite but what happens is that within the ifc elite it will give us a negative connotation that we are just favoring the elite but here the idea is not the favoring the elite here the idea is that those we have to see which section of it having the social implication of the liquor and if there is a social implication and if we, as you have termed elite we suppose five star hotel uh, there is a very uh, i i think there is no chance uh, of the such kind of nonsense activity from I mean, has the socio economic benefits after the prohibition measured in bihar has there been any uh, reports uh, yeah i mean yes sir i am from bihar yes sir yes sir i am i am exactly aware of any report but in newspaper the many times there are news that such crime rate has re- removed from this year to this year and uh, such domestic violence is going down is management should it be implemented all over india prohibition all over the india sir, sir it could not be like a complete ban complete things any time we have to see this and at this point of time i i need to take into a multiple factors taken into account to decide whether we should ban uh, liquor all over the india or not like uh, like suppose uh, suppose i take the example of uh, madhya pradesh or suppose i take a example of any like if we have to identify that whether the the banning the what are the real benefits the state reserve the, the the sales revenue the state is getting we have to consider this first then the consider is that what is the impact of this a uh, liquor ban on the crime rates corruption and then we have to consider that whether this ban uh, whether this is the factor which is uh, in this state will decide will affect this uh, prior criteria or not so i think uh, there need to be a thorough research and uh, there need to be evidence and it could not be like a complete ban kind of things kind of policy I'll just go a little backward. What were the reasons for imposing prohibition in Bihar? Yes, sir. It was a demand from the women section of the society, especially in 2014-15 election. Uh, from the and and that demand was very legible because there was so much domestic violence, uh, violence among the people, and uh, uh, and that legal ban is uh, one of the solution which uh, we can uh, go forward. Mr. Alam, <coughs> you mentioned about Champaran, yes, sir. and that the indigo planters had withdrawn. What persuaded them to withdraw? European planters. Gandhiji's movement? <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. I am not aware. 
No, no. I think the tick die has also come. This is the yes, that was the, that was the synthetic invention of, of synthetic dye. Chemical, chemical dye in chemical. Germany.
Your interview is over, Mr. Ayla. Will you please wait outside? We'll call you to give you our interview. Oh, thank you, sir. You did very well. Yes, sir. Uh, I would say excellent. Two things my colleagues might tell you. Improve. Yes, sir. I think you are quite okay. Yes, sir. I have nothing much to say on that. Sir, the one question the energy level, which I miss uh, right now, the means I have maintained low energy level. Uh, but it was okay. Yeah, uh. it's okay. Uh, only thing I would say, uh, your English is also a problem. The only thing I'm saying, you are using the just before proper noun. The Bangladesh, the Pakistan, the any proper noun, name, the country's name or individual's name. Just before that, you cannot use the noun. Now it's grammatical. It's a it's a grammatical office. Uh, word office to emphasize that this is wrong. All your other good uh, expressions get washed out with one single uh, mistake. You, small mistake. Whatever you have asked, you seem to be aware of the issues. So, on that count, you don't have anything to say. The only thing I am uh, are asking, whatever is happening from now on towards end, what is your date of entry? 26 March. What is wrong at all time? Yes, sir. In the meantime, the lot might change. Yes, sir. Means, uh, there are several announcements which are to come. Mm -hmm. One of them uh, could be uh, the government for the first time, the rumors, the 